good look at what Kate is wearing. She knows something we don't. Uh, St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. Purpose. We have a list today <laughs> of things you might not have known about the holiday. And the first one is this. We actually should all be wearing blue on St. Patrick's Day. Believe it? Though we've come to associate Kelly Green with the Irish on this particular holiday, St. Patrick's official color, the saint himself, was St. Patrick's blue. A light shade of sky blue. Oh, I don't have that color. Oh, well, close enough. You're in the family. The green only became shade. associated with this day after it was linked to Irish independence. So although he made his mark introducing Christianity to Ireland, St. Patrick wasn't even Irish. He was born to Roman parents in Scotland or Wales in the late 4th century. How about that? St. Patrick's Day used to be a dry holiday. Well, not <laughs> anymore. You know, a lot of people will be having Guinness today. Up until the 1970s, pubs were closed on the holiday. Before that time, the Saint's Feast Day was considered a more solemn religious occasion. St. Patrick's Day could have been St. St. Maywin's Day. Supposedly, St. Patrick wasn't originally named Patrick. His birth name, Maywin Sukkot. He changed it to Patricius after oh. becoming a priest. Yeah, there's a reason for the shamrocks. According to the Irish legend, the saint used three-leaf plant as a metaphor for the Holy Trinity when he was first introducing Christianity to Ireland. Happy oh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Some other time we'll deal with whether he actually chased the snakes out of Ireland or not. <laughs> legend has it. That's too much to unpack right now.